Yeah, but it looks really rusty inside, so. What have you got me into this time, Sam? Slightly harder. Soft up garage. Soft up, yeah. <laughs> it's awful. Put the phone down on me. He's not answering, he knows how bad it is. So now we're gonna have to graft the GT40 body onto this. <laughs> Why would you keep doing this to me? <laughs> I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Look at beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. So on the last episode, you saw me load up the Diablo at Gas Monkey Garage. The car then went on a container and went all the way to Felixstowe Port here in the United Kingdom. The car has now landed and my trusted mechanic and driver David is looking forward to going to load this bad boy up and getting it back to my mechanic Josh. Let's get to it. It looks good from here, but this bit is a nice touch. What have you done, Sam? What have you done? This could be as bad as the other one. Maybe even worse. It's awful. <laughs> it's going to be exciting to get that on the trailer for sure. And this, the door doesn't even shut. <laughs> That's fine. We'll deal with that. Bring Sam. What have you got me into this time, Sam? This is the worst one ever, I think. <laughs> Put the phone down on me. He's not answering. He knows how bad it is. Trying to open this door, it is wedged shut. Need the key, the steering lock's on. Go get the key. Fucking awful thing. No joy. No joy. Is there roof an option? It looks like it comes off though. Yeah, but it looks really rusty inside, so I don't even want to attempt it in case it doesn't go back on. I just have to push it out. I can get to the steering, so. I'm gonna push, we're gonna push it out and then we're gonna get the trailer around here and then we're just gonna winch her on. Backwards. If, backwards. Switching the winch to the electric one as the other one shit. The saga has continued from the driver's side to the passenger side now. That one's not open at all. And I've gone to close this one and this one's not even closing. Won't latch. So, trusty old gaffer tape is coming in handy for this one. Just so it doesn't fly open on the motorway because it would be a shame to lose the door. I don't think Sam would be too happy about it. How did that go? Stressful, but we've got it on there now, so we're all right. That's the easy bit. We're now ready to leave and go home. It's only about three and a half hours home now, so yeah, let's go. Now Dave's going to do his own channel. I the will be. Slightly hard up garage. Slightly hard up. Soft up garage. Soft up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flashed garage. So we nearly forgot the much needed big box of parts. But after my new friend Stuart Ward and my pal David loaded up the Diablo, it was time to get on the way. This car was an absolute ordeal to load and took over three hours. Let's get that beast back to my pal Josh Wigley. So with the car safely loaded on the way back home, Dave thought it was all plain sailing, but that was short lived. So I just looked in the rear view mirror and realized that Diablo or the Fiero has activated its active aero and put his boot lid up. So now we're gonna have to find ourselves a safe lay by, lay by and close it and get the gaffer tape out again, I reckon. Now we should be good. Oh, 
She just got off the phone with Sam and he said he's on his way, he's just coming up the lane. So he said, stop what you're doing, don't do any filming. I'm coming around the corner. Let's go and have a look. What have you bought? That the GT40 was not going to be ready, right? So now we're going to have to graft the GT40 body onto this. Oh, great. Loads more work. <laughs> well, it's got a supercharged V8, yeah? Chevy LS aluminium block, all the way from sunny Richard Rawl in Dallas, right? Gas Monkey Garage. And it's just as good as the rest of the crap I've got, right? Can we glue? Can we mm. glue our body on that? I mean, glue. Like, you haven't even brought it back to me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you keep bit. doing this to me? <laughs> So, what, what are we doing with this? We're going to put the GT40 body on it. No, I'm only joking. Seriously? What we're going to do, we're going to put the bonnet on, we're going to put the seats in, we're going to put a dash in, put the door cards on, we're going to get run in and drive in, and we're going to take it to Petrohedonism and uh, see if we can go do some donuts with Richard Rawlings. What do you reckon? So, it's a playing toy? Yes. You bought a toy? A smile machine. You bought us a toy? I bought a smile machine. Okay. It's well, cool, first right? things first, we probably should get it in the shed. Let's do it. Okay, so with some jiggery and pokery and unloading of the trailer, Josh has finally calmed down and come to the realization that he has three weeks, 24 days, just over three weeks, 24 days, to get this car running, driving, and presentable. And I think if there's anyone that can do it, Josh, it's you, right? I'm just gonna stress to the YouTube viewers at home, I do have a full-time job. Yeah, okay, this is it. Ta-da! Uh, this, this isn't it, this is gonna become it. It's also my birthday this month, I'm turning 30. I was hoping to celebrate. I'm gonna be celebrating by being elbow deep in spark plugs and bits of engine. And doing donuts in Diablo. So thanks very much, Sam. So this has arrived and I only saw this, okay? I saw this car when I went to Gas Monkey Garage and met Richard Rawlings. Again, he's going to, I don't know why I did that, my hair It's weird, but you'll have to go over that. Um, I went over to see Richard, looked at the car, fell in love with it, bought it, paid for it, shipped it back. And- um, to the seat for it. Kept it here. I didn't even tell this majestic, beautiful man. No, um, I found out about 10 minutes ago. And it's here, and you know, this is the first time I'm properly doing an inspection on it, and it's freaking cool, man. Like, it's cool. Like, it is pretty look cool. Look at this. Like, even the fuse board in there is completely made custom for this car. Like, everything fits perfectly and precisely. Um, the floor is quite good, very Flintstone-y. That is basically the, f the carpet you can see there, guys. Yeah, there's a piece of grass. Um, what we're gonna do is just have a little look around. This video, obviously we've unloaded it, we've got it back to the UK. Priority here is to let's see what we've got. So you just pop the roof off, and the roof fits perfectly behind there, so obviously it follows the contour of the car. Um, and the doors go up, like Lamborghini doors. What about your side, does it work? I'm just gonna try. Oh, it only goes in bloody works. So obviously I've got some stuff in here. We've got window regulators, door locking mechanisms. We've got um, door cards, but they need um, they need to be coated. Yeah. Maybe. So this looks to me like it's an original Diablo center console, with carbon fiber I mean, section. I'm not a particularly uh, Lamborghini biased person, so I'm probably not the best person to um, ask. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. Take it. That goes. It does. So we've got carbon fiber. Real carbon fiber Diablo roads to seal trims, which are cool. Yeah, yeah, steering wheel's a bit cack. Oh, you got one for that side too. My steering wheel. Oh, steering wheel. Is that a real? Well, it looks well, like have to get it checked. A real. It, it, it has some numbers on it if, if it's real, but it does have the Lamborghini emblem yeah, in the middle of the steering wheel. We have yeah. to get some pictures of some. Uh, We've got some Lamborghini seats. One. I mean, it's mouldy, but it'll clean. That's, we don't pay anything extra for that though. Do we not? No. Oh. Richard um, was kind enough to give you that mould for free. That's it, so we've got all the gauges in, and these got Diablo badges on as well, which is really cool. I'll take it there, repops probably. Let's move some stuff off here, see what we've got. So we've got matching seats with Lamborghini emblems. So we've got a proper steering wheel. Embroidered. So we've got matching seats, that's cool, isn't it? This thing here, which I don't know what it is. Maybe. I think, I think it probably bolts onto it. Ah, that makes more sense. Maybe, maybe, a, probably... maybe a stereo pod, yeah, look. I'm not sure. Does fit there. Well done, Mr. Wiggy. This is too wide for our carbon fiber 
thing, which is yeah. annoying. And carbon fibre is not known for being pliable and stretchy. No, but this centre console might be pliable and stretchy, right? Yeah, possibly, <laughs> possibly. So um, the, there's a dash pad which wasn't in the video, which I didn't know we had. This all um, just wants taken off and vinyl wrapping, I think. Exactly, and just thrown it back um, together. Or in some faux leather or something like that. So this panel here, I'll take it that goes up here to cover up all this lot. Uh, possibly. A oh, couple of releases for the roof. I think it might be door pillar. Ah, okay. A pillar. Maybe. I think. There's some sexy A pillars right there, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're sturdy. Right, let's have a look. Let's move our roof panel off. Yes. And let's put that rag down somewhere because it's perfectly come free with a car. Oh, what's in the boot, actually? It's from America. Free American blanket. Free American blanket. You've got some tape there. Oh. Did you have a little bit of an issue with bits coming up? Apparently, my guy was bringing it back. Said that the uh, boot lid was very ejecto seto place. Oh, okay. Lisa's lots of stuff in the boot. Uh, lots of space in the boot. Where are we going to put the suitcase when we get a petrol head in this? This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Am I going to have to follow you in something big? I think so. For our suitcases. So where, how do you pop the boot then, if there's no... Wow, look at all this. Yeah, I just saw that, yeah. That's... Oh, it's got a nice bleed point. See, th People have bits thought of about it have been thought out, because you know, that, that is where you'd want a bleed point. You'd want it right on the top of the radio, and you'd want it accessible. Which is so cool. So that's, that's quite nice, because... As we learned from the last Lamborghini that you lumbered me with, tonight, yep. trying to get the water bled, the coolant system bled, can be an absolute... Get See you next time. Up. Yeah, try to get a form of an overtaker. Indeed. You can bleed as much or as little as you like. That just lifts off, yeah? Yep. I've placed that blanket strategically. Okay. And now we have our engine bay, okay? So... This I'm a little bit excited about. I want to get your reaction. So, the last Lamborghini replica I brought you had what in it? Uh, had a twin cam MR2 turbo. And you loved that, right? Oh, I loved it. I loved taking it apart and putting it back together and taking it apart. But have a guess what's in together. here. I'm going to let you in a little secret. Okay. I already know what's in Oh, it's awkward, here. isn't it? Because oh. one thing Richard Rawlins is not is shy on social media. Yes. I have seen it. So However, here. I haven't actually seen it with my own eyes. That is quite cool. That's about as cool as it gets. Ali, I Ali cannot wait to get Ali in heads. there with some nice polish and give all of that a nice shine up because I think you'll make that engine bay really nice because that's been finished really, really well. Supercharged LS, done right, really pretty. I'm gonna um, try and roll and road it once it's running? Maybe, but maybe I don't want to break it before I sell it. Or set itself up for disappointment with nice exactly. 90 horsepower. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So what do you think? I think it's going to be quite a full car. It wants a lot of work, but the, the work that it wants is a lot less than the work that the GT40 wants. If, if you've got to pick one of the two to get to petrol hedonism, this is going to be there. I think this is going to be there. Can you hold that up? Yeah, I'm going to see there's some gas struts inside the car. I'm going to see if they fit. Yeah. We've got a big box full of goodies as well. We're going to go through that. We're going to do an unboxing. This gas truck might be a bit big for what we need. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe that's a stairwell the door. Guys, thanks for watching this episode. So it's official, okay? The gas monkey Fiablo is in the United Kingdom. The monkey's out the bag. It wasn't it wasn't a hoax. You did buy it. Or as Richard would say, the monkey's out the chain, right? And this car will, okay? be at Petrol Hedonism Live. Get your tickets sorted. Whether it runs or not. Whether it runs or we push it in or whatever, it's gonna be there. See you there guys, see you next week. Bye now. See you guys. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button. So you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing, which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.